building bridges just like we are. Yeah, that's interesting because I, I was thinking when you were talking about that right now, I was thinking of building bridges and the goal of what we're trying to do, which is to essentially uh, bring people together to, you know, to what is common to us as a, as a human race and a human family and uh, to understand that we, all, we are all human beings and, you know, the common denominator is that we all share the same, you know, we all have the same dreams of having peace in our lives, um, having plenty, sharing, being kind, uh, having compassion, uh, because sometimes, you know, the world is very deceptive. When we go out to our jobs and we're faced with challenges uh, and we see the differences that the media highlights, um, it becomes ingrained into our psyche that somehow, uh, you know, we're all different, that uh, we should have sort of, uh, you know, these biases against different people, even though we don't know them, because maybe a certain group of that, that religion or that faith uh, has done some sort of extremist acts that we, we should now have these distorted views about a whole entire group. So, um, yeah, it's, it's very much in line, and, I, and that's why I, I think we both thought that this guest would be very interesting and exciting because uh, he's, he's essentially uh, kind of giving confirmation to our show that what we're doing, they're also trying to do uh, is to bring these different groups together to focus on the commonality. And and I can say with, you know, with regards to, like, the Quran and uh, Islam that, you know, uh, the Quran commands in, in many verses, uh, you know, for people to to be united, for Muslims to be united, for Muslims uh, to show uh, protection and love uh, to people uh, from different faiths, like the Christians and the Jews specifically. Uh, so, and even in the time uh, of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he, uh, in his time, you know, the Jews and the Christians enjoyed a special protection. Uh, in fact, all different faiths and groups were protected at that time. Uh, even atheists were were protected in his time period, so that all all different faiths were respected. Uh, and that they could practice freely their their religions, but there was there was a there was a mutual respect between the groups. You know, it was a it was a true democracy, uh, which that you know it's kind of been lost now. Um, if we look at you know the the representative so-called uh, democracies in the Middle East, they don't really exist. Um, they're they're more you know the monarchies and um, you know the, the other governments that have been in that region are, are no longer representatives of, of what true Islam is, act, is actually supposed to be. They, they've been distorted and, you know, other philosophies, uh, especially the communist philosophies, have been brought to that region, you know, with the Ba'athist parties uh, that, that, for example, in Syria, you know, that their fundamental uh, ideologies are Ba'athist. Uh, so, you know, they have, you have elements of communism that are now intertwined into what is Islam, and so it's, it's very confusing. But what happens is w when you do these things is that now you have, uh, you know, regimes and dictators that are essentially at the top, and they are uh, living the good life. They have everything uh, within the state, and then you have the rest of the people. Uh, and so now... You know, the whole region is in turmoil all at once. But uh, anyways, my point being that if we actually stick to the fundamentals of what makes us human beings and what makes us brothers and sisters uh, and what brings us together, you know, a lot of the problems in the world can be solved. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be, you know, wars and uh, governments uh, trying to control the population through manipulation, uh, false false information, these types of things. And I, and I think, you know, the, um, the doctor was talking about, you know, this specific program, but it really reflects much larger, you know, into our world, and it's representative of what people are trying to do now. So uh, I thought that was, 
uh, I thought that he would be a profound guest for us to interview. Yeah, I, th- I was I was quite, su- uh, quite surprised, really. Uh, I don't know the, the exact words, but uh, he's you know he's excited about this too. And you know, when somebody gets excited about something, you know they care about what they're doing. Uh, yeah. So I, I think he takes a great deal of care, uh, you know, and, and uh, nurturing with this. Uh, and another thing that uh, I think I'd like to say uh, before we end the show, uh, I'd like to clarify to the people that are listening here in the U.S. because there are a lot of misconceptions because they he- they hear us, you know, speak of Allah, and of course uh, Muslims and, and Islam, you know, is Allah. And in America, everybody refers to God, and there are uh, a lot of people I think that are under the misconception that. Islam looks at Allah as a different God than what the religions here in the U.S. do. I know I, I know per, people personally that that have said, you know, well they they worship another God. They worship Allah. I worship God. And right. and I think the big misconception about that is uh, because a very very dear friend to, to explained to me a few days ago uh, what Allah means and. Uh, Allah, it uh, it means God, the, the one true God. Uh, and like my friend said, you can use God, the word God, G-O-D, uh, like the Romans used to. You know, the gods are angry. You can use that in plural. Uh, well, when you when you say Allah, and when we refer to Allah, that is the one true God, and it's the same God that the religions here in the states are are um, are worshiping. The same one that they're giving thanks to. It's the same God. There's one true God. Uh, but in, and in my opinion, Allah uh, is the definitive name there that cannot be skewed. Uh, so I think a, a lot of the misconception that some people may have, you know, through propaganda and media and so forth is that, well, they, they don't worship the same God I do. Well, Islam is the same God. Uh, there's no difference in God. It's just uh, a more direct word. Uh, and and Allah, you know, um, is the one true God. So if you're a Baptist or a Christian or, or Jew or whatever it may be, uh, and you say, well, I worship God, they worship Allah, you're you're stating a double negative because they're both God. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely um, that's definitely true, and I and I think that uh, you know, with with uh, like like most other. Um, ideas that are sometimes distorted with the media. This definitely is a part of that, and I also think you know there there isn't, especially in the U.S. There, there you know the Muslim population is growing, but it's it's uh, not so uh, big. Uh, the population is not so significant that you know a lot of people are coming into contact with Muslims to see them firsthand, to have experience with them. Um, they are just basically kind of basing it on what they are seeing in the media and what the media is portraying, and that's their understanding of it. And you can't really blame them because that is the only experience that they're having. So there, there's some confusion in that aspect. And also, this kind of goes back to what we talked about uh, a few other shows ago, which was you know that the Muslims themselves are very confused about you know, a direction and their identity, you know, because of a few people that have basically uh, hijacked a peaceful religion, uh, and those are the fanatics. Those are the extremists that are making interpretations of the religion, you know, into and, and distorting it. Yeah, so, they, they, they take tradition into it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they absolutely put in tradition uh, into it, and so they... they they are, but if you know, as with most people, you know, if they're they're curious, they should actually go to the source of the religion. You know, like for Christianity, they should go back and read the. So, if I was going to judge a religion uh, or try to understand a group or, or a religion, I would go to the source of that religion. You know, I would first go to the Bible and and see what the Bible has to say before I see. Because if I judge by you know by looking at a person, that person could be a bad Christian. That person yes. can have distorted views of Christianity that are not correct. Yes, there are there uh, are bigots in every religion. Yes, yes, 
Uh-huh. Uh, but so, but that's that's basically what we're trying to do here at building building bridges is is uh, to say that you know we want people to come together, uh, we want people to see each other uh, for the for the goodness in each other, um, and we want people to have a voice you know in the society and in the lives that they live, and you know we have to kind of go back to the grassroots of doing this because it's gotten to that point where, you know, we are just blatantly, we're just watching, the, you know, the media and through the Internet, the information. It's just blatant types of things going on that are, and that no one is doing anything about, you know. Um, you know, that goes, that's on many levels that, that, that I'm seeing this. And there are tons of examples that I can give uh, about the things that are going on, but you know, for example, I mean this this whole economic crisis that we're in, you know, people are really struggling out there. They're living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of people are moving back in with their parents. Um, they're having to really live difficult times, and you know, so it, it's almost like there's a differentiation now between those who have and those who don't. You know, the middle class is being affected. Um, poor people have always been kind of poor, and it's difficult for them to make. So that that American dream is, you know, a lot of people are questioning that in the, in these times. Where is it? You know, how can we get it back? You know, what we have to look at back. We have to look back at what made this country so great. You know, we have to look back at the values. And I feel that the more we don't say anything, the more we lose our values. We lose ourselves. We Absolutely. Lose our identity. 